and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to paint a very big painting with acrylics for the first time. I think it's even the biggest painting I've ever painted. This time I decided to paint this picture on A3 size paper. Somehow I like painting on paper more than painting on a canvas. I don't know why. But well, the first thing I did was making the sketch. I decided to do the sketch with the grid method. I think I could also do the sketch freehand, but that would take much longer. And when I work with the grid method, I can be more sure that the sketch and therefore the final result will turn out better. This time I had a lot of desire to paint and therefore wanted to start painting as soon as possible. I also decided to paint a woman, a girl and her reflection in a mirror. And I wanted the proportions to be as right as possible. And with the grid method I can achieve that quite well and easily. So these are the reasons why I made the sketch with the grid method this time. And doing the sketch with this method was quite fun for me. It was quick and very easy. After I was done with the sketch, I traced the sketch with a waterproof fine liner. I think it's very important that the fine liner is waterproof, otherwise I would just smudge the ink or the sketch I traced afterwards and I don't want that. When I was finished with that, I primed the whole surface with gesso primer. At first, I only applied one layer of it. Then, when the primer was dry, I traced the sketch with the fine liner again. Afterwards, I primed some areas again, especially the large areas where I could see the grid, so I applied one or two coats of gesso primer to these areas until I could no longer see the grid lines strongly. After the gesso primer was dry again, the paper was quite wavy and as I didn't want to paint on a wavy surface, I put some books onto the paper to get it straight again and left it like that for a whole night. The next day the paper wasn't so wavy anymore. When I work with acrylics, I usually start with a very simple first layer where I apply the colors very roughly to the respective areas. I do this so that when I apply the colors properly, meaning when I blend them and so on, I can mix the colors better. Now, for example, if I'm painting the face and I haven't applied the first coarse layer, so when everything I want to face is white, I automatically mix the skin tones lighter and apply them lighter, so I might not paint so many shadows, so the face looks quite flat and cartoony. But if the colors around it are already applied, I apply the colors just right so it's easier for me to mix the colors and paint in the shadows. That's why I apply the colors first. Oh yes, and I usually thin the paint a bit with water so that they become a little more transparent. That way I can't paint over the sketch and can still see it later when painting. But the paper started to curl again, so I put some books on it again and left it like that for a while. After waiting for a while, I could finally start painting, what I had been looking forward to all the time. And all I can say is that I really enjoyed painting this time. I don't know, maybe it's the first time I had so much fun painting a portrait. And that makes me very happy because I love painting.
is how the final result looks like. I think I worked on this painting for around 8 days and I enjoyed it very much. In any case, I would like to paint more things like this and especially to work in this size because I had a lot of fun doing it. Feel free to write in the comments what you think of this painting. I would be very happy about that. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If it is so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more creative videos, creative challenges and more art related stuff. I would be very happy about that. Thank you and see you next time.